Good morning, guys. Sorry I skipped Tip Tuesdays and I totally missed Motivation Monday, but it's Thought Thursday and, and it's Valentine's Day. Big love, guys. I hope you guys have like a beautiful day full of romance. If you don't have anybody in your life, just remember you have everybody and you need to give love in order to receive love and be loved. The reason I never posted on Monday is that I woke up to no electricity and no internet. The reason I never posted on Tuesday is that I woke up to no electricity, no internet. That happened again yesterday and it's happened again today. Well, I've got electricity, but I've got no internet. These aren't just problems facing us locally and who would be considered privilege, uh, privileged. This impacts everybody and it's going to be even worse for people who are all across Africa and poorer countries around the world. This is a regular occurrence I would imagine. And why would I concern myself as a designer? Well, by me waking up with no electricity and no internet, I can hardly think straight, yet alone access the files that are in the cloud. And that's where I've been storing a lot of my stuff because the way that Apple makes hardware is you've only got so much hard, uh, hard drive space on a MacBook. And I have the biggest hard drive space that I can get. And I just haven't backed up my files recently onto my external drive. So, I have just didn't have the files I needed to complete my videos. I also couldn't search for the assets I wanted to share with you. Now that's, a f I suppose, a first world problem. Imagine now being in a third world situation. So, where this really comes into play is when you're building products. You need to take into consideration where your audience is. And with Africa being the new frontier that everybody wants to get into, you've got to be thinking about their ability to consume your app, your, the information on that app, and to be able to interact with that app. So things that you could be thinking about is how do you make your app really small? How do you make sure that it's really fast? How do you take into consideration that some people have feature phones, some people don't have smartphones, and if they do have smartphones, they might not necessarily have enough space on their drive, and they might not have a huge amount of data con to consume more content, and they might not have the processing power to actually use your app. So let me tell you a story. When I was working in banking, one of the problems that we found is that people was complaining that the app was too big. So when they did an investigation, they found out that there were hundreds, if not thousands, of images that made up form fields and buttons and backgrounds and the variations of backgrounds for the different devices. <laughs> Immediately, you start stripping stuff out. And the first thing people think of is, get rid of the background images. Well, we kind of suggested that when we designed. But the powers that be insisted, no, they've got to be background images. Okay, so that's fine. We can start getting rid of the background images. No problem, we've already got designs for that. What are you replaced with? Gradients, flat colors. You allow people to upload their own image if they want to. Give them a selection of stuff that they can pull and they can upload it. No problem, everybody's happy. Then it's replacing all the input fields, which I've got to just tell you that baffles me. But in fairness to the developers, they never got good files from the designers with annotations to explain things. They never utilized our design system. They probably didn't know about it. Big organizations don't spread information very clearly. And then they also were pressured to meet deadlines. 
And when you push to meet deadlines, you do stupid things like just shove images instead of actually coding input fields. No pointing, pointing fingers, just stuff for you to consider. So if you want a slick operation, it's gonna turn around stuff in a timely manner, use a design system where everything's already pre-coded and you just gotta populate your files with that code. Also, don't use images, use vectors, because it's code. Think like that. When you're trying to think of what to put in your app to make it look good and whatever, don't think in photographs. Think in icons and illustrations and color. And remember, layout can make a world of difference. So think like that. Reduce the file size by stripping out all of the images. Then strip out all of the bad code. It's very easy to bloat an app with a bunch of useless code because you're developing in different places all around the business, if not the world. And everybody codes differently. You've got to have some coding standards. Standards that increase performance. And that way you won't have a bloated app because of code. Then the last thing is feature bloatless. A lot of these countries wouldn't be able to use half the features you want to put inside there. So don't go and shove your latest, greatest Uber campaign inside there. Don't certainly keep marketing away from everything because they're going to want to try and put everything in there. But remember that people at the end of the day have got app overload. So they only want something that is truly useful to them all of the time or some of the time. So you've got to find a way to find that balance of making it accessible to them and it's got to be optimized for them and it's got to be useful to them. So you've got to make an app that it's worth them opening up. It's worth them downloading to begin with, but worth them opening up that they can do the things they want to do. And most people on a banking app, for example, would be about checking their balance and making payments. There's very little else beyond that that people really want to see. Give them the tools they need. Make your app slim and that way you're going to have success. If you don't believe me, think about Capitech. Capitech were a late player in the big five in uh, the local industry and yet they have almost the largest client base. And they did that by creating an app that is tiny. You download it as soon as you get into the bank and that way you can use it straight away. It's got a tiny footprint because it's got minimal features and their customers are happy. They've got everything they need. So just give that some thought. Give people using your product some love. It is Valentine's Day after all. Enjoy the rest of your day. Hope it's full of romance and pure love. Thanks for watching, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and stay cool. I've had to come to Starbucks to upload this video. That's what I'm resorting to.